guys, we're back here. Um, I never got back here on the last video showing you Pete's truck all finished up. But anyway, here we go. We'll show you what went on with Pete's truck. Not that it's a, not that it's a, um, a, a huge difference. You really can't see it too much. But we'll give you one more shot of Pete's little 56 Ford pickup that we just uh, we pulled the heads off. Pete's got a 390 in here. He had a little bit of a head gasket problem, so he decided. Um, what the hell, we're going to change the head, why not put the Edelbrock heads on here. So that's what we did for him, so let's take a look here. So I don't know if you can see in there very good, but... I'll try and zoom in there, but anyway, I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not a big deal, you can't really see it that well. But we put his Edelbrock heads down in there. You can probably see their nice aluminum head there. There we go, You'll probably get a good glance at Pete's out there watching. There you go, Pete. There's your, oh, little blurry there. There's your heads in there, everything's back to normal. Pete's truck is running like a clock again. There we are, don't want to ever do that job again. We're done, we're over, thank God. <laughs> and anyway, one last glance at Pete's little 56 Ford pickup called The Last Date. There it is, it's done. Pete's on his way out to get it, and she's going back home to Surrey. Now if you notice here in the background, we have got a 57 Chevy in here. This is another guy out who saw us on YouTube. His name is Jerry, and uh, he did this car. He did a frame off restoration. We're gonna get it up in here in the hoist a little bit here, and we'll show you. He's put an Art Morrison frame on it. He's got a lot of money tied up in this car. This is probably, you know, this is probably a hundred thousand dollar car or more, I would think. Um, it's a beautiful car. Get a good glance. So anyway, the reason it's here to us is because a lot of the front end does not line up, and it's hitting the tire. When Pete's trying, or Pete, when Jerry's trying to turn the corners, the tires are hitting on the front. The front end is misaligned and out of alignment. So, unfortunately, this is sometimes what happens when you do not do the bodywork and bolt things together as you go along and keep pre-fitting things. You have to do that. And when you don't, and you just reassemble it at the end of the day, this is what happens. Things are out of alignment. So, he brought it to us because he knows we've got the expertise here to get this car straightened up for him. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fix this up for Jerry. There's a good glance of it inside there, what he's got going on. He's got some aftermarket gauges in there. It looks like he's put the aftermarket stereo that fits in the stock place, but runs, uh, I believe you can plug an iPod into it or run CD players. He's got some nice custom seats in here. Shifters on the floor, hearse shifter. Door panels are nicely done. Take a glance inside. There we go. You can see the designs on his seat. He's got the speakers. If you look over carefully in the door panels, the speakers are built right into there. And uh, I believe this 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 here is a memorial. I think I think what have we got here? 052108 1002. 04 or not 08 sorry 80 I, I believe I, I don't want to say anything too wrong here I believe his son passed away and that was the tattoo he had for his son or his son had and I believe his son passed away so he did it in kind of a um, it's on the back of the cart here too right there. I believe that's the tattoo his son had and uh, you know Jerry put that on there so he could remember his son and that's awesome sorry about that Jerry sorry about the loss um, that's too bad but He's, he's a good dad. He did something like that to remember him. And uh, anyway, let's get off topic of that. And let's let's take a good look at what's going on here. Let's see if I can get this open for you. Uh, of course not. Hang on one sec, guys. There we go. Nice little radiator going on there. He's got the AC, he's got the air conditioning, he's got all the nice, all the hoses are plumbed very nicely. As you can see what he's also done is in the pockets here inside the inner fenders he's kept all his wiring hidden in there and he's got a door that covers that. Very nice idea, very nice idea. Electric fans, dual electric fans going on there, you know, it's, it's very tastefully done, very nice and clean. But like I say, the issue out of the whole thing is it does not line up properly. So we'll get her in the shop, we'll get her up on the hoist, we'll let you guys have a closer look at it. So there we go, and that's it. Uh oh, here we go. Here's Dave. Dave, what, what, 
Dave is smiling. Now, the other day, Dave, I asked you a question about, you said something about your little dog, something that happened to your little dog, and I, I the tape erased, and I never got it. What, what was going on with your little Spencer? Well, it wasn't Spencer, it was the big guy. Oh, what, what did he do? He ate something or something? Yeah, he ate all the tiles to the Scrabble board game. Oh. Yeah, and I'm just afraid his next shit's going to spell disaster. <laughs> Oh man, that makes me that makes me happy. That makes me real happy. I'm, I, I you know, that, that, oh, never mind. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so what have you got here? Oh, Dave's handing me parts. He wants me to go get bolts. Okay, well we'll follow Dave in if his Looney Tune shirt's on. There, that, that, muscly Dave. And anyway, okay, we'll get right back here when we get this Chevy up on the okay, horse. So we we'll got show Jerry's you more. little '57 Chevy here up in the air. We'll take a look. We'll show you guys out there in YouTube land what it looks like on an Art Morrison frame. So here we go. Okay, so. Let's get underneath here. As you can see, it's very well detailed. He's got the same gray paint. He's got the uh, he's got the rack and pinion steering there. He's painted the motor. As you can see, same coppery color as the rest of the car. He's powder coated all the headers. He's powder coated all the exhaust. He's even painted the calipers the same color the car is outside. He's got the frame, like I say, and all the control arms, the suspension, the same uh, gray with the pearl in it. Exhaust has all been powder coated. He's got electronic dumps Right here if we take a look here. He's got his exhaust pipe coming down. He's got electronic dumps over here Magna flow Magna flow exhaust. He's got the four link looks like we got the four link suspension underneath the back here What else we got going on? We got some coilover shocks in the back. We'll get around here Adjustable coilover shocks disc brakes all the way around. He's also done the same painted all that He's got a gas tank made up, electric fuel pump. He's mounted it up on here. This is a, this is a high end car, eh, Dave? Very. Very. Dave says it's very high end. It's very fancy. He's got all up inside the wheel wells. He's done the same. It looks like he's. It looks like who's ever done it did the same thing we did. They used the black texture spray, which is a good thing. Hides any little imperfections and looks nice. He's run all the nice stainless brake lines. Oh, he's got the sway bar underneath the back. So, there's a good glimpse. He's done all the floors too. You can see all the floors are just the black texture spray up underneath there. If you can see all the floors up on top here. And uh, we'll, get a, we'll get a glimpse of it this way here. It's kind of hard to see. Let's say we got it in the hoist. So the main thing is what we're going to do here is we're going to fix this. You can see... The body lines, look how big they are. And if you watch as they're going up with the camera, look how narrow they get. They get tighter and tighter and tighter. So nothing is uh, nothing is lined up here. It's a big job. Dave, have you got anything to say about this job? Are you excited? Oh yeah, tickled pink. A tickled pink? Yeah. Doesn't it show? No. Oh. No excitement in Dave today. It's payday. It's payday. Do you like how I always film you on a payday? Yeah. What shirt you got on there? Is that a Canuck shirt? Oh, this says Canadian. Drink Canadian beer. Yeah. Canadian beer sucks. I know it does, but the t-shirt was free. <laughs> it's only a six pack of Kokanee and they give you this. Oh, Kokanee's Canadian? Same oh, shit. Just somebody's trying to get rid of t-shirts at the liquor store. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. Anyway, so anyway, there's Dave's thought on the day. Anyway, so here we go. We'll come back around here. So you can see, even look at this door. Look at the... Look how tight it is here. Now watch as I go all the way up. If you can see that out there in the old YouTube land. Look how big. Especially up right in there. Look at how big that gap is up in there. So, this is a prime example of when people say to me, how come you charge us two, three times over of putting it back and forth, back and forth together? Because you have to do it every time after each step. Am I correct, Dave? That's right. You have to do it before you do any work whatsoever. Is that not correct? Then you have to do it after you weld it. Then you have to do it after you do the body work. Take apart, reset, take apart. They, it's, all, it's all got to line up perfect. There you go. There you go. And that's what we do here. Unless it's just a quick job that someone doesn't want to spend the money with and care about the gaps. Cheap knobs. Yeah, cheap knobs, he says. <laughs> there are some guys out there, though, that do, do come in for quick jobs and, and gaps don't mean nothing to them. But with this car, unfortunately, what Jerry's major problem is, is if we can see this up in here, I don't know if you can, I'm going to point... You see, no, I'm not giving you guys the finger on the camera. Anyway, you see, you see way up in here where my finger is, if you see that blackness, that's the tire. 
The front end is so out of whack on this car, it's over, it's over towards the left hand side, the driver's side, and he cannot turn the tire. He can't turn right, it's hitting the fender. That's how much it's out of whack. So we're going to straighten all that up for him, hopefully, without scratching up or marring up his beautiful paint job here. So that's what's going on here. And uh, we'll take a quick glimpse over here as you see. The other, the other video there you saw Tim's box was sitting in here. Well there's his box, we got his box mounted on his truck. There's Tim's truck sitting outside in the sunshine today. And we'll show you what it looks like out in the sun. We'll take a quick walk around. It's getting there. Tim's truck is going to be done hopefully one day next week. Let me just... There we go. There's Tim's little 57 GMC. So we just set the box on it this morning. Got her all bolted down. And uh, that's going to be it at the moment on Tim's. For next few days. Tim's gone away anyway. Tim is in Edmonton right now. He's watching those videos in Edmonton with, with some of his guys back there. So uh, hey to all you guys in Edmonton. Thanks a lot if you become viewers. That would be awesome. If you need any cars built, call me up. I can give you my checking account. You can deposit checks in there and leave your cars with me. I can build them. Isn't that right, Dave? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm trying to get a sales pitch going here. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful day out here in the sunshine. So uh, that's what's going on. So we're going to get take care of Tim's next week, get Tim's all done, and we're going to hopefully get take care of uh, Jerry's here. And away we go. Okay, guys, we'll turn this around. We'll turn this around, and uh, thank you for watching. And that's it, and we'll see you next time. Because remember, it's always a good time at old time. See you later.